Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. Uh, we have special visitors today. We've got Ryan from Horton Bonsai down for the uh, for the weekend. Uh, we've had a great time so far, and hopefully we've got a, a day or so left. Um, today we're going to repot the big beach that I got from Rob from Scotland last year, and uh, the pot, the blue pot that we bought, that's down. Uh, Ryan brought it down so that we could repot it ready for you know the rest of spring and summer. Let's go and have a look, see what Ryan's up to because he's up to stuff and I need to keep him supervised. I'm going to add a bit wire on that to pull it down because it's up in the air. <laughs> so he's already working, already thinking all the time. That's the uh, redwood or deadwood, which it's not deadwood, is it? No, it's, it's nice. Brought the elm out so it could enjoy some sunshine, and then the f field maples up there work doing well. And he's just going to chuck some wire on there. Oh, we're putting proper wire on, not dainty stuff. I'm not using your crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's better because when I was over there, I was straight Sticking out there. Sticking out. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Already. So we'll just venture into the green wing while, uh, while that's happening. And you can see we had the strip out day yesterday, got rid of a lot of different bits and uh, it's looking nice and clear in here the coffee machine's getting good use the wire caddy's in a position where we can use it and there's the beach that's what we're working on today we're going to crack on with that and that's the pot that it's going into So we're going to get on with that, we're going to get it out of the pot, we're going to work on it and uh, you'll be in the background watching us. Enjoy! Right, we're in, we're ready. Uh, Ryan's just stood in the key position as always. <laughs> Scott's at the coffee machine. Oh, latte. Latte, I'm going to So I'm going to uh, make, make a brew while Ryan's going to get cracked on. But oh, while he's there uh, making the coffee, the first thing we'll do is get it out of this. <laughs> Should just fly out there. It's not wired in, is it, Ryan? You won't be It's not wired in. That's why it belongs here. <laughs> there was a lot of routes on this. The front's already been marked for us. So once we get all this soil off, we're going to try and lift it when we go in the pot so we can see this nice feature on this road system I know some people don't like it they'd rather cut it off but it's going to be a nice feature along this pot bringing your eye up to the moment into this tree we didn't style this tree if you've seen the video before when Scott was up our way to the workshop we wired it and Rob styled it and Rob's already marked the front for us so now it's time to get Dirty. Get dirty, brother. Get dirty. It's a little bit damp, the tree. So what I'm going to do is just work away nice and gently and get this crap off. <laughs> <laughs> Into the crap catcher. Into the crap catcher. This is going to take a while, by the looks of it. Got more weed than Bob Marley. We'll get it on here, <laughs> right here. So we'll just fly in to have a little look at what Ryan's working with. Oh, that's so, good. so we'll get all that raked out, ready to go in our new pot. We'll let you see a bit of it and then we'll come back. Come back when we get a bit off. So Ryan's busy working away on the front side of the tree. I think we'll swap over at half time and I'll do the rear. But last weekend we went down to uh, the Birmingham Car Boot 
and uh, that's where we got the junipers from which you'll see in this video as well um, and I bought the Hawthorne raft which I think has gone out on the live so I'll just show you the bit of footage that um, that I picked up just walking around the, uh, the Birmingham car boot just while we get these uh, roots raked out and the soil removed so we can get it into some nice soil so here's the uh, the Birmingham car boot footage coming up now so we are here at the Birmingham Botanical Gardens for the bonsai car boot and all the action is down the bottom of the car park down there so I'll take you for a quick walk around it's a little bit smaller than last year's event um, but that's purely because the weather was meant to be really cold this morning and it was fairly cold but um, as the days progress the sun's beaming down onto the car park and keeping everybody nice and warm so let's go and have a look <laughs> you alright? Uh, I bought three trees go on you bought three trees yeah, she's gonna do her not when I walk in the house <laughs> but in there out there well you won them in the raffle didn't you I believe yeah exactly yeah yeah it's all free the luckiest man of the place yeah all free <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's going in. 100%. Yeah, sure. Well, well, mine's worse. <laughs> no, it's not been too bad, to be fair. Uh, about an hour and 40. Okay, that's it. Nice, nice steady drive. Yeah, you too. What on earth is that doing? Both is just different. It's the same thing like nutrition wise, but it's just different, different products. This one, um, it's green in the, in the foliage, really. So that one makes the tree just sort of the like a one. Jade's <laughs> three years in lockdown. Oh, I, was, I want a house plant. <laughs> and then I got a jade. Ah, uh, well, there we go. You know what would be cool if had a bonsai? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Just for displaying, just for just for setting up. You know, it's like the backdrop on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make everything that sort of. Yeah. But. 
Uh, All right. Well, before you go in, we need a we need a plan. Remember what I was saying about how much it costs to get in. There's an entry fee in there. No, no. But if you get your ticket for the year, next time you come, you bring you bring someone in. Succulent heaven. Succulent heaven. And that's what we're gonna call call our call our stall now. <laughs> I've got a bit of a soft spot for this stall <laughs> and this lovely little variegated one here. There's actually a pot just there. That'll do all right. Forty quid he's got on that uh, cascade pot. That and that. Oh. You'll go nice in there. You would, wouldn't it? <laughs> There you go, we got it. But we won't be able to see it in the display. We're off to Japan, so yeah. we're going to miss the... Uh, the There'll be some pictures about weather. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> the terrible twosome. It's overfeeding. So what must have happened was the chimney nutrients going to the going to off. You don't want to be on it, do you? No. <laughs> Coming for you, Pete. That's nearly all of it, isn't it? I get that effect, everybody backs off. I don't want to be in his videos. So we made a couple of purchases, 
We've got a hawthorn there for Peter and a hawthorn raft for myself. And then we got three little junipers for me and Ryan to do some juniper training. So uh, keep watching, you'll see the uh, junipers take shape next week. Here he is, Horton Bonsai, proud with his jade repotting. This pot was housing a crab apple that everybody thought was a larch uh, that I was given uh, when some trees were handed to our club. I'll take you round to see the crab apple larch. We've repotted it into we'll slip pot, it? one of my Scottish pots. We did, yeah, it was just teas out of the roots. We didn't do anything major because obviously look at all that that uh, that's already going on. So we we were very very careful with it. You can see it's a uh, an air layer. This all had big balls of moss around that. It's very inverse around the uh, the air layer. So sorry. Yeah, word escaped again. Uh, round the graft uh, and the reason I kept saying air layer was we're looking to air layer that off in the future and get a nice little tree maybe a nice little crab apple so yeah that's the crab apple larch slip potted into that Scottish pot that we got last year from Scotland workshop all clean oh yes the workshop all clean lots of stuff kicked out the seeds are doing well just making Ryan a coffee off of his uh, coffee machine. Tools and wire and everything. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, he did. Look. It's wired in. It's wired in. That's for everybody. And Ryan's happy with his jade in the pot that the uh, tree came in. I don't expect me to do any videos on these. <laughs> It's for Dave. It's Dave, yes, Dave. Tell Dave, Dave. Dave. Nigel, Dave. It's the only one you've seen us do. <laughs> <laughs> and once it's established in that pot, it might get a bit of a prune back. Well, it's have it, Hey, all right, get yourself a coffee. Oh, cheers, mate. Hard work. Hard. I'll, I'll, I'll do this bit, don't worry. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll let you, Mara. <laughs> you only come in to take the thunder. I'm doing it honest, look, look. That camera's not even looking at me. It's got your turntable spinning, lad. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. He turned it around on me and uh, I was that busy drinking my coffee, I didn't realise he was doing my side, so I've had to come and kick him off. He absolutely loves this stuff, don't you, mate, doing all this? I do. Some people see it as a chore. He sees it as, like, a relaxation and uh, a labour of love, don't you? Why? I'd rather be doing this than sitting in the house with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's hope they don't watch my channel. Probably not. <laughs> they don't even watch the dad's channel, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I've seen them watching mine. <laughs> taking a bit to get off because the soil is damp and we'll get there we'll just purse it for you all the crossing roots are I can feel them cracking and breaking but that's all right and most of that will be there the white roots off the weight yeah yeah there is that you do we empty in this now does it take over soon? No. So frustration's kicked in for Ryan. He's kicked me off it after, oh, I must have had at least five minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Minute <and a> half. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to crack on and get the, all the soil out of these roots and then we'll come back and show you what we've got. It's all CD's kicked in, he'll have to empty the pot. <laughs> it was too messy. <laughs> So as you can see the soil is still being removed, Ryan's been at this for a little while now, 
Uh, I've even managed to go out and water me remaining plants that haven't been kicked off the uh, deck yet. Um, but yeah, it's uh, what is it, Ryan? Just all old soil crap. Yeah, all old crap soil. So it's going to love getting into uh, Probably. a nice bonsai mix, which is predominantly Akadama. Pumice. There's some pumice in there, there's some kiryu in there, and there is some remainders of uh, some reptile bark. Uh, I was going to buy some more reptile bark, but um, I couldn't be bothered to sit and cut it up into smaller pieces, so I haven't bought any yet. And until I can find some that comes in nice small pieces, that'll be a job for later. Pine bark. Pine bark. Bugs. Yeah, get some fines out of it. You can get the fines, can't you? You can get the small stuff out. Yeah. So that'll be a job to uh, to get some of them. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> well, that was his big player there. He was tapping it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, when, like when you give the kids something to do. I can't do it, Dad. Dad, can't do it. Well, I'm not bloody taking our well. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit hard work with a beam. It, it is nice and solid in the bottom. It there, is. There's plenty of uh, root and stuff, and we'll seal that when we get it to the uh, wash state. Wash, 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 wash. The wash station. In other words, what yeah, he means is once he gets the hose out and cleans it. <laughs> <laughs> the crap catch has been emptied about two or three times. Is that it is all very solid underneath here. It's just all soil. So when this tree's been collected, they haven't washed the roots and repotted it. I think what they've done is left the old soil on and just put it in a pot and filled it up with bonsai soil. But we'll get there mate, won't we? We will. And once this tree's done, I think it'll have thrived this year. Oh, with all the... Especially uh, out of that. I mean, it's, it's a real thick soil that this is sat in, so it wouldn't have got much oxygen. No. And uh, I don't know whether it was getting fed, it probably was. Yeah, Rob would have Rob fed it. Rob would have fed it, so... It's been well looked after, it's just been uh, ready for this. For a few years now, I would say. So, let's Scott continue, and the way he's going, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're optimistic, aren't you? <laughs> Next Easter. <laughs> so, Ryan's back in the driving seat. I lasted all of 2.5 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, get up. He says, why have a dog and mark yourself? Oh, <laughs> you can't put that out. <laughs> I, no, might have, I might have said it, but you can't tell people I'm talking like that. I'll cheers them out the way. <laughs> My Namby Pamby scraping was frustrating him. He, he wanted to get in and uh, give it some proper port and action. So we've just about got as much out as we can with the hook and um, we're going to take it to the wash station but I think we're also going to take it across to the uh, the raised beds just to give it a blast with the hose pipe first to get the first lot off and then bring it to the wash station where we can get his hands in with it. So here we are at the, um, the raised beds. Trees in the bed. Ryan's got control of the hose pipe and we're just going to wash see what the roots down, up. see what we can get out, yeah. It's not the most powerful of um, hoses, the walk flow. It is strong, but it's just, just not the best. So our good friend Peter bought me a, uh, a spray gun, a battery powered spray gun. So we've just hooked that up to the uh, hose pipe and uh, the power that's in it, that it came with, because this is the first time it's been out, is uh, doing a pretty good job. It's, it's a needle fine jet 
of water that's getting in, so uh, it's getting in better than any other. I'll have to find out the details of this and uh, let you know. But it comes with a lot of attachments. There's all sorts of spraying attachments in there. You can add liquids into it. You know, there's lots of things you can do. So um, I think that's a pass-through bottle. So you could put something in there for winter washing and things like that, maybe. So the camera, again, battery went flat. So I've just been and replenished the battery and Ryan's carried on using the, uh, the jet wash. Has the power run out of the battery now, mate? I didn't oh no, it's still there. But the flow of the water is pretty much there anyway. So, we'll carry on with this until we've got as much of the soil out as possible. And we'll catch up with you in a bit. So it's in its bath. Having a nice soak. We've got plenty of uh, stuff out the roots, but as you can see, it's thick matted in there really really thick but we're going to just have a final you know dip and dunk and try and get as much out as we can and then we'll get the pot ready for repotting Baby. so there's uh, three drainage holes in this in this pot this is our little baby pot here and um i've got three pre-made drainage screens in hand Normally you'd see me drop them in and chuck a bit of soil over them, but not today. I've been told that I am wiring these in. So, here I go. A nice size. So Ryan's just made me up a little butterfly effort to keep the drainage in. Poke them down that way, flatten that across the top and then ping out our edges and locate it into position so we'll do we'll do one now <laughs> hopefully we've got um, enough wire poking through now it goes on one of the little ones we'll do a bigger one for the centre for now I'm just going to quickly do this and then maybe just uh, set another one up like Ryan. Which one? Like Ryan's just said. So ping that out to the side, ping that out to the side, and then flatten it on the inside, and that will keep the drainage screen in position. But if we use it in a smaller hole, because that one's slightly too big. We'll get a better, we'll get a better pull. So that's number one. So here we go. Bit of wire. Create yourself a, a little loop. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way. It's all right. It's all right. Little loop, and another little loop, and I've gone the wrong way. That should be on the inside. So we pull them down, and then that's our little loops. There's your middle. So here we go. Boot drainage screen number two, wiring in, uh, pull that over. Just um, trim these back a little bit. I've made it a little bit too long. And that's going to hold that drainage screen in. Ryan's kindly made me a larger one, which I'm just going to make the same size. <laughs> you might save under the pot with your CD, mate. Well, it's still got to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's got problems, by the way. And he means him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we'll just quickly poke this through, bend over, bend back, bend it out, bend it out, and that's just draining screens in position. A little bit of movement, but they'll stay where they are. They'll not come out. So on me it. Now you've got to do something you don't like doing. And what's that? I've got to prepare my wires for wiring me tree in. <laughs> <laughs> I got some special wire for that. Special wire for special wiring of special tree for a special boy. Well, so I've got my wire. What he means is he's got some crap he's going to use. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy this stuff 2.5 meters and it generally comes from places like Amazon. Ryan keeps saying Timu, but this was pre Timu before we found Timu and made the mistake of buying some of the tosh you can get off Timu. Uh, I think this has got lots and lots of um, wiring in holes, so I think we'll go two at each end and then maybe one in the middle to strap it over. So, got to make it so it's long enough to come up and over the tree. And this is getting rid of stuff anyway. So this is going to be our longest piece for wiring in and what we'll do is the old Ryan trick, the famous Horton bonsai trick, we'll measure it nicely and bend it so it's in line with the holes. So our first bend we can put in without worrying but then our next bend Position the gym pliers and then bend it up. Why do we make it nice and tight? So that when you're pulling that last twist, you get the best grab. Otherwise, if that's loose on the bottom, it goes baggy and you're not getting a tight grip on your tree. Good lad. So you come while you're in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our first one. And we'll just make two more because we'll put them in as we flip it up the right way. I think that's enough for that one. And seeing as these are going to be the same, I'll make it the same length. By the way, Ryan's just chilling and watching with his arms crossed. <laughs> It's about time you had a chill out though, instead of doing everything. I did have my music on, but someone turned it off. Turned it off for copyright strikes. Lost Boys soundtrack, we were having a field day. But uh, YouTube would have a film day with us. I don't know what I was saying. Ladies Even though it's not about the money, I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> it's not about the money. But it helps with when we do some get giveaways and stuff like that. And if I meet someone and I want to give them something, it all helps towards the cause. So that's my next one, and I think I'll uh, cheat a little bit here and just make an identical. How many more of them holes are the same on the side? Yeah, they'll be the same on the opposite side. They might be slightly out, but um, it'll be about right. So we'll stick these in. I'm talking to that camera, and it's dead. Where's your we'll stick... I'll, your I'll do it in a sec. Partially put these in ready for uh, <coughs> turning the pot out the right way. <coughs> oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> you think I have a chesty cop there? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one for the middle one. So we'll put this through and then as we flip it over, we should have plenty of space to keep that in. Put it on its side. Carry on poking it through. Ryan can bring his beautiful self across and <laughs> pull that last one through because I've not got enough hands. As Tony said, if we had another one, we'd be an octopus. It'd be a tentacle. <laughs> Don't steal his jokes. <laughs> Especially, no. Tony knows what that one was. We're not telling that. No, no, again. no. I'm not seeing that one. 
I want, Police. Su I want subscribers, not Police. unsubscribers. Yeah. So, this is this is wire, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, Let's Do Bonsai. We'll put a small layer of soil in the bottom of the pot. Do you know what we should do first? What should we do first? Rope prone the tray, I think, to see if it fits. We can position it in the pot, can't we? See whether it fits, and then we can do a a light prune. No, we'll do a chopper saunders. Chopper, you can't call him Chopper Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a Nigel. Nig Nigel likes to do a light pruning. I love to watch Nigel doing his pruning of his roots, and uh, some people scream at the thing, going, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" But I've been to Nigel's. Nigel knows what he's doing. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. And if I can look after mine as much as Nigel looks after his, we'll be all right. But yeah, we'll Did give it, we'll give it a um, a light pruning, as I like to say when I'm watching Nigel. Right. So you don't want to put a light layer in first because it'll be pulling all the soil out, won't it? It's going to be moving the tree, aren't we? Right. Let's bring the tree in. Jade, chuck them in the bin. Switch it off before it comes back. By the way, when we've uh, been cleaning this tree, all the branches have bent all over. So we'll need a bit of initial styling back into it. Right, branch clear. Here we go. Here we go. In a bit, wiggle it, wiggle it. Not all bent room. anyway, so it flies in. in. Oh. And then test fit to the pot. That's going to fly in that one. That's going to fly in some some external roots just trimming down. I want that exposed a bit. That's a pot. Okay, so you just need to do a bit of root pruning. A bit of root pruning. Pot out of the way, crab catcher in position. Hey, that's my seer. <laughs> that's hooting bonsai seer, crab catcher. <laughs> hooting, tooting, rooting bonsai. Right, mate. I think some of these long ones can come away, can't they? I'll come in underneath first. So we've got that great big thick one coming down there, that's coming off. To. There. No, you're not planting it. That'll root that. I oh, know it will. <laughs> We've just cleaned this out. <laughs> we'll just we'll just take some of the leggy stuff off the bottom out of the way. But we've got lots that's running round, haven't we? But we need to take out Everything. these ones that are going down. Oh. Being very gentle with this rather than just bullying a china shop in it, which I probably should do. And it's killing us. <laughs> Ryan would have had it done now. Just take the bits off around this side. There's loads of bits going down, so you know it's a good healthy tree, isn't it? Yeah. The buds are just starting to swell, so it's about the right time. So we'll kick it back up and then oh, we've got lots of roots going round and round and round and round. And we do want to try and get as much radial root as possible. That's coming. Oh, word. It seems to all be going back in and up and under itself. So we're going to probably have to take a lot more off this underside. But I suppose if we take some of these circling roots off, they're coming back to places like this. And this, oh that's come off anyway. But they seem to be going back in and up and on themselves. So I think what I'm going to do is, where it hits the pot and goes round, I'm taking them off. No boat, is there anything on them? To cut back the chill. So 
So if we can get it back to as it curves and says this is a massive Just turn it off. But I'm gonna mm. have some better. Oh now you, you went now you went for one. <laughs> but that's where it's gone back into the root mass. Like that. Yeah. Not that much anyway. But we've got lots of dog legging roots which we do like to get rid of on repots. And there's plenty to go at. That comes out and goes round a bit. We'll trim it back. These dog legging roots. Get a bit more aggressive on the underside there. We'll try and. Um, that one comes out and goes around all over. We'll take it back to. Plenty of junctions on them roots where there's new roots coming out. There is, there. and there's lots of roots coming off the big roots as well, so we're not particularly missing or losing a great deal, even though it feels like you're taking lots off. There's a, a chunky root that comes off here, great big bulbous thing. It's a decision whether or not to take it off at the beginning, but that would be quite a bit. Or whether just to bring it back to where these roots emerge, but they, they they come off and then kick back and go back into the. Oh, there's a yeah, that's coming off. Not a word. Gonna have to just cut that off and let it die and eat itself. It'll rot, yeah. It'll rot the tree, will eat it. And there's lots of. Uh, it's been in that bowl for a while, and these roots have been fully established, haven't they? They just hit the side and went where they could, haven't they? Yeah. So there's one there that comes down, it goes both ways. We'll take it down to its radial point and then let it regrow. Oh. Yeah, it's put, put a lot out. I think there's some like horsehair or something <laughs> in a lot of this. We're getting a lot of the weed roots now after freeing those off. It's allowed the, or what we were trying to jet through earlier on. Mm -hmm. It's uh, allowing the weed roots to, to fall away because we've still got bits of grass. It's hard work trying to get them out, wasn't it? Well, it's, it's that thick with root. I mean, this, uh, this little bit here now is nice and loose. So we might dip it back into the bath before, uh, before we go too much further with the uh, repot, that is. Big chunky root there. Where does that come from? Should we have a look first? It's, it's coming from miles away. So we'll take. <coughs> what about <I> the <laughs> So that's the kind of thing we've got growing back in and under the tree. It's a mat, a full mat of roots. So as we've said, there's going to be absolutely plenty to go at. But it's only going to be a light pruning, as I've said. <laughs> this is the way down cutting, not the roots. <laughs> that's the back. That's our front row, so that's two eyes of it. Yeah. Let's see where that can go back to and I'll get in and take that off. Yeah, there's. What about this one? Should we. Uh... 
Well, I want to lift it out of the pot a bit, so all it needs that one and then the barry. That's going over. If we cut that right back, it can continue to go into the soil. You know, coming in from a nice angle like that. But you've got all the weed roots and then all the roots that have grown back in and yeah, underneath. You've got all these new roots coming off under there, you know. Yeah. Which we want to lift up a bit. We'll just see what's in here because a lot of that we weren't able to get. But now we've freed some of that big root up, all of a sudden we're getting into it. So that one is, oh, taking that off, it's freed all that up. We'll be able to get that pulled out radially. Oh, but this is going for another bath. I'll cut that off, yeah. Special instruction. We've got that one underneath, that big one there, so we'll take it off all together. All together? Yeah. There's nothing on it. No, there's not now, because I killed it off. So only we've got that big one there, what comes there and pulls back on itself. That's going to really want cutting off so it goes out that way, really, isn't it? Actually... Is it dead? It's not. Is it the rope? I don't think it's part of the no, tree, no, no. that it's just growing inside. That's better. The roots have all wrapped around it. Right, that's freed up a lot of this side of the root getting rid of that. Should we take it for a wash and just clean up this bit? Ah, oh, well, because you're not going to really want much water off it now. No, it's freed up all of that. So there's all that soil in there that just wants to take it out. If we turn around the other side, see what can see what can be done on this side. No, no, we'll give it one more last wash after we've looked at this and see where we land. That one back. Just chop the other side of the I'd like to get that one that's coming round at an angle away. Kicking back in, just pull as much out as we can, and there's lots of root in there. So I'm going to take this, I think now, and leave most of that. I mean that's not really coming out radially, but it's flowing with those. So it's we, back in the tray anyway, though, isn't it? We can leave that. It's just lots of uh, pockets of potential soil and crud going on in there, isn't there? Is that one there that comes off and then kicks through grass? Can you cut me that one off somewhere? This one here. No, no, no. I've got to pull it through. No, no, no. no. Oh, creepy crawlies. So it won't want, it won't want for root. <coughs> we'll have a little root inspection or shall, shall I go and wash it and then give it a wash then we'll bring come it back, back to you. Oh. Right, 
It's the wingle and the wangle. <laughs> You talk about 15 to 20 percent, though. Why? Less. So it shouldn't affect the tree. Why is on his hands and knees there? Eh? Bobbing for apples. You are? Bobbing for apples. <laughs> so, we're coming back. Uh, well that's definitely flying into that pot now there's a root there that I've just noticed that's no good <laughs> I don't think it's part of the tree I no. feel I think it's off the big weeds like them ones these fleshy fleshy ones they're off the weeds aren't they but they're, they're showing themselves more the more we're taking out so We'll finish off with the roots and we'll bring you back when we're ready to put it in the pot. So we're pretty much done with the roots now. Uh, I did set about the bottom again to try and give it a nice flat bottom. Um, even Ryan was a bit worried about how far I was going. Um, threatened to take the scissors off me in fact. <laughs> um, but we've got a nice flat bottom pretty much there so we can get in the pot. There, there does seem to be a lot of bits that want to come out under there, but it's only its first repotting, so we can. Sorry about that, the uh, camera decided to lose its power. Uh, I believe I was just talking about how we've flattened off the bottom. I'm just going to flatten that root off so it enters at the right dimension, so when it lets some roots out, they'll come out nicely but uh, as I was saying I set about the bottom of the root base uh, to the point where Ryan started panicking and said he was going to take the uh, scissors off me um, but we're just about ready to <clears throat> put it back in the pot Ryan what do you think I think it's about ready that's rope prone one that you won't go yeah so previously I was saying as well Ryan's just reminded me there that this is the first root prune so obviously we've gone as far as we would really like to, even though I'm still here pulling bits of roots out. Um, so for its first, it's not too bad. And we'll slowly get more and more taken out. And have your fingers. Chop them off so you stop pulling them out. <laughs> but I've chopped the bottom of that root, which so that will actually go some sort of radialness there. And I mean, there's lots of stuff in there that we could get out, but we're going to leave it for now, we've done more than enough. Um, that's in there and that one. He's still going, folks. Now that, he's happy. That was cut off. Now he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> that was cut off. Remember, this is only a light pruning, folks. That one goes back on itself. It's coming uh, off. So when I was saying he's only took about 20% off, now we're getting into the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have one last little tease out here. Now I've just created a bit more space. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, 
considering it's had jet wash and baths and all sorts, there is still a lot left in here. I'm going to take the tray off them in a minute. <laughs> I've just, just found a little pocket of stuff that I just want to tease out. Sorry guys. Right, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> off with his pot. Off with his tray. <laughs> So here we are back with the pot. <laughs> Can I now put a small layer of soil in the bottom of this thing? You might need a big heap on the right hand side because we want to lift the tray yeah, up. We're going to tilt it up in the air so we're going to put quite a bit over this side and a thin layer on this side. Are you sure you don't want to use me real man's scoop? Matches your eyes. I've got my other scoop somewhere, seeing as, you, seeing as you don't like me real man, pink scoop. We'll get our silver scoops out. Does that make you feel better? That makes us feel better. He likes playing with pink things. <laughs> you can cut that bit out. Like that. It sounded wrong, lad, didn't it? It's staying in. <laughs> So we'll get a nice heap on this end for Ryan. Good Scott. Put him on the hill. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm just missing a bit in the middle. Little bits around the edges. Two sticks. There you go. Sit with my hands anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to have another go at the roots when it comes back over. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> so, here we go again. Try and position this in this pot. We'll bring it forward as much as we can. Does it want to go a bit? We just want to say this. When the soil's on, you know. Yeah. Maybe a bit more under there, yeah. So I might have a look there, George, right? I think that's going to be all right. It will mound up a little bit. I'll just bring the camera in. So this is the level that we're at. So it will mound up a little bit to that root. You can see that big thick chunky root that comes down. I prune that off to here so we'll get some roots under that maybe. Right, we'll start dressing it in. Right, let's get that first one in, shall we? So pinch it at the bottom, pull it, twist it, twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Pull, pull. pull, twist. And then you want to be pulling it up and into position. I've got the things caught in it. And that's it. That's, that's clamped in now. And any of the roots that it's over are roots that are going to come off in the future anyway. So any damage to any of the roots they're roots we don't want going forward I'll let you twist and pull that in mate please I haven't got anywhere Put that waste away. I went a bit mad with that, yeah. You wanted to use it up anyway. Because your bit was cheap rubbish. <laughs> so 
And that front one doesn't look like it's going to catch anything. Catch anything. So we might pull that back out actually. This way is going to snap. Come on. It's not going anywhere, is it? No, no. So yeah, I think we'll pull that out. Lean the pot over the edge. We'll put the up in the air and drag it through. We may as well save the crap wire. So we're all wired in position now pretty much. It's a case of filling the rest up and getting these roots covered up. Some of them might have to come up because they're a bit too high now, but uh, a little bit more light root pruning. Hands and knees. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm not bending over. <laughs> I'm not that way inclined. <laughs> That's getting edited, isn't it? <laughs> nice little shovels then, where'd you get them? Greenwoods. Greenwood. Corin at Greenwoods, get yourselves in there. And one of them has a... No, I've got the ones without the filters on. You can get them with a filter on so it filters Sieves. all the dust out, sieves the dust out. I like to have this soil on a stand rather than bending down to it, haven't I? Need one of them little engine hoists so you can just keep putting <laughs> stuff on. Motorbike hoist, isn't it? Yeah. So it'll take a fair bit of soil. But that's good because we've got plenty of it at the moment pre-damped because the bag got wet so it was a perfect time to be doing this little job <laughs> clean that bobbin out <laughs> it does. So I think what we'll do is there's another chopstick in there, Ryan. You take one side, I'll take the other, and we'll work, we'll work this into the roots. And we could be at this for some time because there's quite a few air pockets in. Hooten Bonsai! Hooten Tooten Bonsai! Jade Bonsai! <laughs> yeah, that's no, not! Hooten Jade Bonsai! If Nigel had his way, that's exactly what it'd be. And Dave. <laughs> No, oh, that must be chucked away. Yeah, we'll go out moss gathering, shall we? <laughs> it weren't the right kind of moss, that, anyway. Too big and crusty. So we're gonna, it's getting hot in here, so we're going to let the cameras have time to uh, cool down. We'll, uh, we're going to go on a little moss hunt, because I know a couple of places just around that have got some nice little bits of tight moss. We'll go and get that and then we'll come back, apply the moss and uh, get it outside and style it outside, Ryan. Yeah, just well we're just, knocking it on. Yeah, just it? titivate it back up. So we've been out on our little moss hunt and we have a tray of moss which should we bring it over just to So it needs some checking out and cleaning up. 
but uh, that's our moss that we've got to play with so we'll take off and use what we want to use and then we'll uh, leave the rest on there on a, maybe a bed of sand or something because it likes to grow in dirt and grit doesn't it moss at the side of the road and uh, keep it on a wet watered bed and it'll grow and thicken up nicely with what's left so if we start picking up some random bits and working them into place Ryan do you think some nice nice little sheets of bits to put on probably needs probably should have had it in a bed of water already to be fair because it's dry, it's pretty sunny and dry out today grandkids have come for their Easter dinner as well you'll hear them in the background and uh, I'm sure they'll come and attack granddad soon <laughs> and uh, that'll be the end of playing bonsai probably <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get this dressed up push the push the moss well into the soil so it purchases in really really push it in don't be scared and then it will spread out on the rest of the soil any patches that we happen to leave but it's quite nice and velvety and it? it's, it's not the best right. moss that you could get but with the oh, that's cunning, you know? all the places that I had in mind had all been cleaned haven't they the looks like the council's been round and uh, cleaned the sides of the roads and just when you don't want do them to play them. So just as I finally get out there to, to get a bit of something, I'm going to come in there with that because that's you pinch me spot. darker stuff. And when you're pulling out the bits of grass, it's worth holding on to the moss, as we found out, because you pulled out <laughs> that one blade of grass, didn't you, and the moss went flying across the field. It was a big shake of moss, right? and I pulled out a piece of grass and it went flying. My fault. I'm at the height because the place is a good chunk of glass in it. Some nice little pieces, nice round bits that will fit in any little gaps. So we've got big chunky bits. There's a bit of variation in colour but uh, hopefully they'll green up and spread across each other and come out nice. That's the landscape off the sun that one. That's my excuse too, I like it. Nice little balls that Ryan's got. Excuse me? <laughs> I will say my little bits. <laughs> Ryan's little balls. You up small balls, you know? <laughs> And then we'll let it get grown in and we'll keep trimming it down as well. As long as the black is done, isn't it? The blackbirds, that is. Yep. Some of this moss is a bit thick, we like the velvety stuff. I wish I had some mesh to put out. Protect it from the birds. Mm -hmm. This is actually coming up quite nice, to be fair. What the moss? Yeah. It does look well, doesn't we it? We didn't do bad, did we? We didn't. We ended up going to two separate places. Oh, you want to pick up my eyes? It's a big heavy pot, isn't it? Heavy now, man. Harry!
Ding ding, round two. Been boxing 30 years. Every time I hear a bell, I think I've got to come out fighting. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to tell lies if you want, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pulled your moss out. Chucking the moss on me bit. <laughs> That's the bit you're pulling, I'll pull it out. Alright. I put that in, did I? Ah, it was there. Uh, I had to think a bit. Fill the gaps. Here's Inspector Pete. Hey, Pete. Coming to inspect the situation. Put to make sure we're mossing up good. I'll let you grab the camera, Ryan, and fly him in for a, a quick look. That's it. That moss looks all right, doesn't it? We just need Good. to pick out all the old people's grey hairs <laughs> and whatever else is mingled into it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Said pick out all people's grey hairs. You'll be there all day with me, mate, I'm afraid. <clears throat> right, we'll get it outside, give it a final styling, and uh, once it's perched, we'll let you have a look at it. So here we are, all finished, all planted. Just tied it up, wired into position, just awaiting its one big last water. You want to water Grandad's tree? Under the tree yeah. for Grandad. Come on, water yeah, Grandad's then. tree. You get that one. Put, give me your cup because that's heavy. You good? Right, put your cup down, then I'll give you that. Have you got that one, Margo? You'll get that one, Harry. Hold the front and on. Hold it there. Right, go and water Grandad's tree from. This one. This one, Margot. This one in the blue pot. That one there, where Harry is. Around the other side, H. I'm done. You done? We'll get you some more. Mm. That's all right. <laughs> you make it worse, Harry. Good job done on the beach there mate, I'm well happy done. with that, I'm happy you've with done me proud once again. So we had to turn out, it looks well doesn't it? Yeah. So that's the beach done, repotted into its new pot, its first bit of root pruning and uh, the first time going into a pot. Um, we've still got the three junipers outside and I'm sure we can find something else to get up to but that's going to do it for this video on this part of Ryan's visit, so from me Get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to each other, animals and the planet. And as always, I'll see you again in the next one. And I'll just say thanks for watching and ta-da, folks. <laughs> ta-da, folks. Ta-da, folks. <laughs>